The Death of Vishnu is a 2001 novel by Manal Suri that tells the story of the final days of Vishnu, a man who lives on the ground floor of a building in Bombay, India. The novel is told from the perspective of various characters who live in the building and interact with Vishnu. The story begins with Vishnu lying on the landing outside his apartment, apparently in a coma. The building's residents are at first indifferent to Vishnu's condition, but as his condition deteriorates, they become more and more involved in his care. The building's concierge, Mrs. Singh, takes on the role of Vishnu's primary caregiver, and the other residents offer assistance and support as needed. As the days pass, Vishnu's condition worsens and he becomes increasingly delirious. He has visions of his past life and the Hindu gods, including Krishna and Rama. The novel explores the themes of mortality, religion, and the human desire for connection and meaning. The other residents of the building each have their own struggles and conflicts. Mr. J.J. Singh, the building's owner, is a wealthy businessman who is facing financial troubles. His wife, Kavita, is unhappy in her marriage and longs for a more fulfilling life. The building's elevator operator, Sita, is a young woman who is struggling to support her family and deal with the advances of the building's resident Lothario. As the novel progresses, the various storylines begin to intersect and the characters' lives become more intertwined. The novel's climax comes when Vishnu finally passes away, surrounded by the people he has come to know and love during his time in the building. In the end, The Death of Vishnu is a poignant and thought-provoking exploration of the human experience and the ways in which people cope with suffering and loss. It is a beautifully written novel that offers insights into the complexities of the human condition and the various ways in which we seek meaning and connection in our lives.